paying homage to Yamaha's rich heritage is the Yamaha Bolt, or spec. Every bike comes with its own variation of controls and features. Let's get you familiarized with your bike before you take it on your journey. We'll start with the gauges. When you first insert the key and turn it to the on position, it allows the tachometer to display proper information like gas indicator, miles per hour, service lights, odometer readings, and time. It will also display features like turn signals and trip mileage, but we'll have to get to know the switches on the handlebars a little better to access them. On the right handlebar, you have your kill switch, ignition, and display select buttons. Don't forget that the primary brake lever is here as well. Squeezing it will activate the front brakes. Another brake lever can be found down by your right foot. This controls the back brakes. If you press the select button, it will cycle through the two trip odometers, mileage, and clock. Hitting the reset button will allow you to edit the time or reset the trip mileage back to zero. To start the Yamaha Bolt, make sure the kill switch is on by flipping it down and then press and hold the ignition switch for about a second and the bike will turn on. Over on the left side are your light indicators. On top are your high and low beam switches. Flipping the switch up will activate the high beams and down for low beams. Under that are your turn signal controls. Toggle left and right to activate each light accordingly. When you want to shut them off, simply push that same button inward to cancel the turn signals. This is also where your clutch lever is. Hold the clutch lever whenever you are shifting gears. When shifting, the gears go as follows. Press the pedal down for first gear, and then up for second, third, fourth, and fifth gear. To put the bike in neutral, you'll need to find that sweet spot between first and second to find neutral. The Yamaha Bolt R spec was made to go the distance and features a 3.4 gallon tank and will get you 51 miles per gallon, giving you a total driving distance of 173 miles on a full tank. To open the fuel tank, insert the key and turn to the right, and you'll be able to easily remove the cap. Just make sure when you put back on the cap that you align it with the inlet hole on the tank for proper security. You'll hear a click when it's done correctly. The Bolt also features a non-adjustable bobber style seat. The Solo Rider saddle adds to the minimalist bobber look while providing support for longer rides. Once you get to your destination, you'll want to make sure the bike is secure. The Yamaha Bolt features a disc lock on the bike for safety and security. Use the included lock and key to secure the lock to one of the drilled slots on the rotor. Once locked, take the opposite end of the coiled cord and place it on the handlebars. Now, you'll want to lock the handlebars. Turn the forks to the left. On the right side of the forks is a key slot. Turn the keys clockwise to lock the forks and counterclockwise to unlock. Make sure you slightly adjust your handlebars to make it available to lock and unlock. Inspired by tradition and built for performance, the Yamaha Bolt R-Spec is definitely one notch that you'll want to add to your touring belt.